Hello there. Well, today we're going to look at the Parrot operating system, but the main focus of this video is going to be how to install the Parrot operating system in the virtual box. I'm going to show you where to get it from and uh, you know how to install it in there. Anyways, let's jump right into it. When you talk about the Parrot operating system, let me tell you, it's free, it's open source, GNU Linux distribution, it's based on Debian Stable, all of this is pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, then uh, if you want to learn hacking, well, my bad, if you want to learn ethical hacking, or you want to do some pen testing, or you want to use it just like any other operating system, you can do any of that. But at, at its core, it's actually used for ID, um, you know, a security and... Um, and uh, forensics kind of stuff. So basically, uh, at its core, if you want to be a, a an ethical hacker or or do stuff like that and pen testing and stuff like that, then this is uh, the operating system that you should go for. Other than this, you might have heard uh, a lot about Kelly Linux as well. So, yeah, there's a difference. But anyways, uh, in this one, we're gonna cover a uh, Parrot operating system. In the other video, I have also talked about um the kelly linux and how to install it i'm going to put a link for that in the description or possibly possibly going to see a link to that on the top right corner of this video right now anyways let's move forward so the parrot operating system is available in three main editions you got the security home and the architect edition even as virtual machine like virtual box parallels or vmware on raspberry pi and also on docker as well so you got all these options available with the parrot operating system this is where we're going to download the virtual box um image from and this is the website of uh, this is the official website for the paired operating system you got the documentation other things available here uh, on this website and you can also download the paired operating system for the vmware uh, from the osboxes.org and also uh, for virtualbox as well from osboxes.org i'm going to show you that option as well so let's jump right into the browser now Okay, so here we are at the given website, as you can see right here. And as I was saying in the very first um, slide that I showed you about uh, the operating system itself being available in different editions, uh, this is the security edition. You got the home edition, hack the box, cloud edition, architect, and Raspberry Pi. If you want to know more about all these versions, you can go to documentation. But if you would just want to get a, an overview, like for example, I've selected the security edition uh, right now. This is the one uh, I have downloaded. I'm going to show you this one. So. If you just read this part right here, it says Parrot Security Edition is a special purpose operating system designed for pen testing. So penetration test and a red team operations. It contains a full arsenal of ready to use pen testing tools. So it is already loaded, right? Apart from this, if you go to the home edition, it's gonna be like for your daily use. Let me just show you that as well. So if I click on home edition now, as you can see right here, it talks about the home edition. Parrot home edition is a general purpose operating system used with a typical parrot look and feel. This edition is designed for daily use, right? Privacy and software development. Now, parrot tools can be manually installed, unlike uh, uh, the security edition in which you had those tools already there, right? Uh, in this one, you got to manually install all of those and do all that kind of stuff, right? If you want to do some uh, lightweight pen testing and um, you, if you want that kind of environment. But if you if you really want to go for a hacking and that kind of stuff, if you want to learn ethical hacking, uh, pen testing and all that, that all that kind of stuff, uh, the security edition is for you. Right. As I said, you can read more about all of these in the documentation section in great detail. Right now, if uh, I want to go ahead and uh, install or download uh, the security edition, I want to download it by clicking right here. And you can see the size is 4.8 GBs. Once I click on it, I'll be able to download uh, the uh, the image. OK. Once downloaded, I'll uh, uh, load that image into the virtual box and be done with it. Now, let me show you the other website as well. Now we're done with the Parrot uh, Security Org um, forward slash download. Now let's go to the other one. 
Okay, this is the other one, and this is the osboxes.org, and uh, we are at uh, VMware Images right now. Um, the option to change the from from VMware Images to, for example, VirtualBox is right here. Right, if you click on this drop down, you can choose the other option, as I'll show you right now. If I click on it, as you can see right here, it shows me VirtualBox Images. The second one is uh, VMware, and you got screenshots as well. Well, if you deal with the uh, the VirtualBox or you know virtual machines uh, per se, uh, you would know what screenshots are all about. Anyways, when you scroll down, right, this is like this is like the treasure of um, operating system images, and this is the one you can use um, for security um, OS, right? You can download it from here, and if you choose the virtual box, you can choose the you know image accordingly. If you select the virtual box option here, right? Uh, that's pretty much it uh, for downloading uh, the image. I've already downloaded it. I'm going to show you how to install it in uh, the uh, virtual box now, step by step. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into that part. Okay, I've opened up uh, the VM virtual box manager, as you can see right here. And I got a few operating systems in here. Now, the one I'm interested in is this one, Parrot Operating System, which you can see is already running. If I was to show that to you, let me just open it up right here, right? So this is the Parrot Operating System, and this is uh, the uh, general view that you're going to see when you are done with the installation of the Parrot Operating System. This is how it's going to look. So if I go ahead and click on uh, the terminal, for example, I do a new name. It's Linux, uname, hyphen, n. There you go, Parrot Operating System, right? So let me just show you how to install it. Just minimize this, and uh, yeah, all you need to do is you need to click on the new option right here. It says new right here, right? Click on new. Okay, name it Parrot OS 2. I'm just going to say that. No, nope. it's Linux. I'm going to choose the option Linux. And here it's fine. As I said, it's Debian. So I'm going to go for Debian in this case. And that's it. Go for next. Uh, I'm more interested in 2048. I'm going to go for that. Next. And then create a virtual hard disk now. And that's what I want to do. Create. Once you do that, I'm going to go for VHD in this case. Say next. I don't want it to be dynamically allocated. I want to give it fixed size. Select that. Click on next. Oh, well, that's your choice. Anyways, um, 16 gigabytes or how, however you want it. So let me just go ahead. Or in this case, I can keep it 32 and then say uh, create. So let's wait for it to complete the creation of it. And uh, I think I'll just pause the video for now and wait for it to complete because it says uh, 50 seconds, 48 seconds remaining. Yeah, I'll just pause it for now. Okay, we're almost there. Just wanted to show you once it's done. Um, so yeah, let's see, we're almost there. A few seconds remaining, should pop up here. Um, there you go. You can see the image right here. Parrot operating system 2. It's powered off right now. Right? So what I can do is it's selected. I can click on the settings tab right here and make sure that the operating system, the parrot operating system that I've selected, that I downloaded, sorry, I need to just install that in here. Right? I need to select that in one of the options that I get. Okay, I'll, I'm going to show that to you right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on settings as I showed you, or you can just right click on that uh, disk that was created, right? So the main config is storage, which is the fourth option. You got general system display and then storage, right? Just to make sure, got it. It's right here, right? Just click on storage. 
Once you click on it, this is where you select the image that you downloaded. This is where you select it, okay? Now, what do I do? I click on it, and then I select that image. I go ahead and click on it, and this is the paired operating system. Well, I've already installed it once in the virtual box, right? And that's why I see it here. Otherwise, I'll have to click choose a disk file, right? And from there, I can just do it. So I click on Parrot Security, this and this, blah, 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 whatever the name is, who cares? Now, the rest of the things, I'm just going to let that be for now. I'm going to go ahead and say, OK. OK, done. I'm going to click on Start. I clicked on Start. The option was right here. It's still here. <laughs> OK. I clicked on Start. It's starting. Let's see what it does. OK, come on. OK, yes, it's actually already showing me the option right here. I'm going to go for the first one, try install. OK, so the first option, I'm just going to hit Enter. Install. Let's wait for it. It's not a problem. Ignore this error. And let's wait for it. I'm not going to pause the video right now just to make sure that you, you go through every single step. I mean, you see every prompt, right? Well, there's nothing basically after this okay almost there ignore this one and there you go if you remember in the first slide we saw gui based so you're gonna see a gui don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to run some commands or anything. Voila! Perfecto. There we are. And uh, this is the same, right? This is the one we just installed. And uh, this is the one I showed you before, right? Um, you name hyphen and parrot. And this is what you're going to see once you're done inst installing. And then you could just play around. There are a lot of options available in there. And um, sorry, I, I guess I need some tea. Anywho, um, yeah, this is how you do it. Well, um, um, I'm going to put uh, the links and uh, yeah, whatever possible in the description. And those of you who are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And uh, do watch the other video where I've, where I've shown how to install um, the Kali Linux in uh, the virtual box. I hope this helps. Uh, put in the comment section if you have any questions. I'll try my best to answer those. And uh, yeah, you guys have a great day ahead. Thank you. Goodbye.